And it's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day. All right, lads, listen up. We've got until dawn to achieve our objective. And it seems like the crowds already know we're coming. Now we've got one chance to demolish the coastal artillery. But if we don't, the invasion tomorrow will fail. Now I trained you all for this. Let's not let the Navy show us up. So take the case, mates. Blast the artillery and fire your flares to let the Navy know the job's done. All right, this is it. You know the drill. Stand up! Hook in! Stand by! See you on the ground! Thunder!
Thunder! Thunder! Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crown. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? Captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. That's it, we're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. Lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the bank's too steep. We secure the bridge then. It's our only move. You're the boss. Focus on the depot!
the half track MG. MG down! I think deep down he understood that, and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Web went up ahead. I think they're waiting on you, Sarge. Defenses. Bloody hell. They're waiting at the table up here. How's it looking, Sergeant? Best see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. Think you can handle taking out the lower gun? I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in. 
but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch at least. Well? I love it. But I think you should go first. <laughs> All right then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. Godspeed, Kingsley. Case mates, I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. All right, Sarge. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try and get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Up of you. With me. Suppress it fire now. Take out that hard track. Track. They're falling back! Keep pushing! On the left! Another half track! Watch that half track! Move! Move! the 
left half track. He's a target! You find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. Best grab it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Up ahead now. Look at that fucking monster. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I could use your help here. Thanks, Sergeant. 
Grenade! Get down! Let's get up top before this thing explodes! for that flare. Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've got to be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower case, mate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! We need to run for it! Funny time to take a kip. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else, and report directly to me. Al Hitler. Ich 
Christ, what is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, rein, rein! I sagte, beweg dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, the eggs is all climbing. Da, it's because of the car. Your vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Fuhrer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Fuhrer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right at the supersternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. 